Hey guys, um, the example problem that I'll be doing for you guys today will be the problem on the last uh, static stability exam uh, last week. Uh, I when I reading the papers, I saw so many of you guys wasn't able to figure out um, the answer for this one, even though this was part of the last homework problem. Especially if you go through all of the Excel five. The Excel file, the static stability Excel file on the solution, and you should be able to get all of the formulas required for this problem. But here again, I will go through all of the formulas, all of the result, and to show you guys how to get the slope of uh, CM over CO, as well as the trim CO of the aircraft. Um, well, there are several approaches to this problem, um, but here's one of those. Uh, the one that is from the Excel five. So, um, given all of these values, uh, aircraft properties values, um, you should be able to determine the. Uh, first of all, we need to find out the CO alpha of the wind, and this is a very very general solution uh, equation. Uh, for every aerospace engineer. And this is for the wind. And when you put in the numbers from that uh, table, you should get 5.47 CL over radians. And it is also the same thing for uh, CL alpha of the tail. You put everything in except for the aspect ratio you should be able to get 4.92 co over radians so with two of these fundamental values we're going to proceed to determine the cl lift coefficient of the wind and it is given by the formula that is the CO alpha of the wind time alpha, the angle of attack, plus the incident angle of the wind minus CL0, which is the uh, zero lift angle of attack. And if you put in the numbers, you should get the function remember so incident of the wind is zero which are given right here so you put everything in you should have only alpha left and why you leaving the alpha i will explain it to you as we move along the problem you're going to do the same thing for a lift coefficient of the tail pretty much similar formula except for the downwash angle, and the plus the downwash angle minus CL north, and for the tail you got zero CL north, and this uh, this is gonna give you. If you put in on the numbers, you got just gonna have left with CL, and remember. Uh, the downwash angles was given by this formula. That what? It's gonna be 2CL of the wind divided by pi aspect ratio of the wind. So you're gonna plus, remember all of these angles must be in radians. So you're gonna plus the incident angle of the tail which is 0 0.05236 time so if you put in the formula for the downwash angle, you should get two CL wind. CL wind was given right there, so you just calculate it right above. It's gonna be five point four seven time alpha plus point zero six nine eight one all divided by pi time fifteen, the aspect ratio of the wind. 
here's the formula for the lift coefficient of the tail and then what we find in what we determine as is the moment coefficient of the hill aircraft so it's going to be the cm around the center of gravity and it is given by this formula so c of the wind time distance from the cg to the tail over the mean aerodynamic course of the wind okay plus the zero lift moment of the wind and in this case gonna be zero then you're gonna subtract the CL the lift coefficient of the lift coefficient of the tail on um, multiply by this and what it is well uh, you guys should be able to know this one because this is the tail volume and it was also given to you guys at 0 0.97 so if you put in one of these given formula to the cmcg um, equation here's what you should get so r w is going to be 0.5 okay divide by the um, mean aerodynamic core of the wind it's going to be 2.31 times cr wind it's right there just gonna put everything Rewrite everything on together. Zero six nine one. If you wanna subtract the CLW, I wanna put the tail volume first. So it's gonna be 0.97, which was were given to you by the problem. Multiply by the uh, lift coefficient of the tail, which is this formula. So it's gonna be uh, multiply by four pi. 92 multiply by alpha plus by 0 9 2 3 6 then plus 2 time 5.47 alpha So this is the formula for the um, moment coefficient of the whole aircraft, which is around the center of gravity. And if you notice, one of these problems is on the function of alpha, the angle of attack. Alpha is the only uh, variable in this equation. Same thing right here, alpha, alpha. Also same thing right here, alpha, alpha, alpha. So, in order to determine the DCM over DCL, this aircraft, we're gonna pick two angle of attack and then calculate the CM at two of those, CL at two of those, and that is just the slope. So, let's say I'm gonna pick alpha equals zero. And if I put in the numbers, uh, you can do the math. It's gonna be uh, the lift coefficient of the wind. It's gonna be zero point three eight two, and the lift, uh, the moment coefficient of the aircraft is gonna be minus point two five five, and you put in alpha equal 4 degree uh, remember because all of the angles are in radians you got to convert it into the radian and it's going to be 0 0.07 radians and from that you should be able to get the c here of the wind is 0.764 and cm the aircraft is going to be negative um, 595 and you put all of these together 
so you should be able to get the DCM over DCL you're just gonna take the difference between the two it's just basic math to figure out the slope of the DCM over DCL and that is that's gonna turn out to be minus 0.89 and this is the slope of the uh, DCM over CL and uh, and um, next we are gonna figure out what is the trim CL for the aircraft so what is the trim condition of the aircraft trim condition happened when the CM of the health of the whole aircraft equal to zero and if you put in this equation as this is the uh, function of alpha you should be able to get alphas at around 0 0.89 0 0.0526 radians and uh, this and you put these values back into the uh, lift coefficient of the wind you should be able to get CL of the wind turn out to be point zero nine four All right so this is the solution to our problem and um, if uh, you using the SL spreadsheet as part uh, from the last homework problem you should be able to plot the same figure you can see that the slope is about 0.89 negative 0.89 and the trim CL is gonna happen right there which is approximately close to 0 0.1 right there trim CL happen as CM equals 0 so this is CL and CM so this is the point where the trim uh, of the aircraft uh, happen at that CL so it's going to be approximately 0.1, which we agree with our values over here.